Modes being removed and added to the MCC. Fan favorite gameplay playlist coming back as well and potential changes to matchmaking. Sick throughout the entire video to understand the details here. But how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay update when it comes to Halo MCC and anything Halo related as well. If you like these news update videos, please make sure to tap that like button so let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your guys' experience has been with the MCC. What game modes you would like to see come back to it because it seems like the, some game modes that recently were added are going to be removed and some fan there's gonna be a fan favorite coming in right now that you can play at the moment and also if you're new to the channel we'll stay up to date with anything halo related make sure to tap subscribe on the channel here with the bell keep you up to date with anything halo related so let's get right into the details here so let's start off with some somewhat bad news if you want to look at it that way about these are some underpopulated playlists that uh postums recently put up on twitter talking about hey these are kind of low po low populated game modes and they may be I kicked out of the uh, playlist to kind of keep the healthy rotation of new players within the certain players within MCC because yes we would love to have all the game modes back though you also want to have a good matchmaking experience with fast matchmaking times and low ping and to do that you kind of have to consolidate the player base with certain kinds of playlists and so right in this tweet right here it's saying uh, PSA MCC as we have mentioned in several updates and we will monitor and be evaluating playlist health for the removal of the most underperforming playlist and he lists three playlists here we have lone wolves ce doubles and halo 2 team hardcore now lone wolves i can understand because i believe that's only supposed to be halo 3 and um three four generally at least from my experience when it comes since i've noticed a trend in populations when it comes to the halo playlist free for all is generally one of the lower populated ones ce doubles kind of makes sense just because i don't feel like a lot of people would be playing ce for matchmaking for like ranking up and stuff like that the way ce kind of plays as well that like either you have guys who they never left ce and are just really good and can predict every single spot at every time and you got guys who have no clue what's going on and so the mix of mixing those two players together it kind of makes things kind of tricky and also i'm kind of surprised that halo 2 team hardcore is underperforming where i feel like besides halo 3 i feel like halo 2 team hardcore would be probably the second most popular playlist for at least for ranks and stuff like that uh, but sadly enough it's under and underperforming in population so um, i don't see them ever removing this if there's ever going to be a ranked team slayer version or whatever of halo 2 that they would keep this in just for continuity sake of the matchmaking playlist especially also with ce doubles like it's that's the ranked ce playlist like you can't remove that can you i mean maybe you could maybe you just kind of have it be more of a you know social playlist for just ce but especially for games like halo 2 and halo 3 which i think are the most competitive modes for or for competitive games, I should say, for Halo, that I think you would have to keep some MLG-like playlists for those two games especially. Now, for my reason, I haven't really played these playlists that much either. And my reason is that Lone Wolves, um, when I'm playing in MCC, I'm playing it much more casual. I'm not really trying to rank up or sweat it out to try to do well. And Lone Wolves, I find, is very sweaty try hard kind of playlist because that's just the nature of the playlist I feel that like a lot of people are very frustrated with the fr way free-for-all works in halo because people they don't put all the bullets into somebody and then the kill gets picked off from them and that's a really frustrating experience but i think it's because a lot of people play free-for-all like call of duty where you're like you get a full health one-on-one -on -one battles which that's not how you play free-for-all in halo you try to swoop in on gunfights and kind of pick people off that's kind of the mentality of how you have to play which is different from any other free for all which I like, but I generally like playing free for all for Halo 5. ZE doubles, I don't really play with it because it's not really high action enough for me to really kind of enjoy playing solo queue, especially playing solo queue doubles is kind of rough in any kind of game mode really, um, but like even with Halo 5. And also I don't really play C, I feel like C doesn't really play that well on the MCC either. I feel it's really clunky, kind of slow, floaty, and like, um, I just feel like some aspects of CE just don't transfer very well, in, for at least from the PC version over to MCC. And that, that just could be me just, you know, remembering the good old days and, you know, being biased, but that's just kind of my opinion. And Halo 2 Team Hardcore, I haven't really got into that one a whole lot because, uh, uh, probably just because I haven't really played that much MCC, though, to be honest, since uh, the initial update. But uh, I really like the, if I was going to play any other game, I would probably be Team Hardcore in Halo 2. But you come across very sweaty teams. And I'm usually a solo queue player. 
doesn't really play out too well for me. So in wrapping that whole section up, it's just saying, if you want to see these game modes come back, keep playing them. Jump in, play them, tell your friends about them. They're like, hey, they're going to kick these game modes out if you don't keep playing these guys. And, you know, spread the word, play the game modes, and then hopefully they'll keep it in if you want to keep that in. Now talking about game modes going potentially out, we do have confirmed a game mode going out for sure, but a new one coming in. So as we know that uh, Team SWAT was recently added to the MCC as a rotational playlist. And I played it, made a video about it. It was great, a lot of fun. I didn't really get a whole chance to play in, get a chance to play it. Uh, just because I think it's only around for like a, what, two weeks or something like that, then it's out. So that mode is now removed, and now we have mixed cross-game team snipers being added, as you can see in this tweet right here from Postum. They're also added in a Halo 3 hardcore team doubles playlist as well. So I guess if you guys want to get those really sweaty games on, this is your chance to do it. I think you kind of have to consolidate the game as itself if you're going to try to get some high-ranking sweaty playlists. So you have to kind of go for 2v2s just because of you know the low populations and trying to get eight people together evenly ranked at high levels it's kind of it's much harder than do it for just four players so it makes sense i definitely will be jumping on playing some team snipers guys and we'll probably even make a gameplay for you guys to kind of show you what it's like and talk, talk about my experience and how i feel about team snipers because some people really enjoy team snipers i have a friend uh, kathy on twitch she really loves team snipers like that's her main game when it plays playing halo uh, i even saw some comments in my previous videos talking about how they really wanted the team team snipers to come back i'm like Good for you. Team Snipers is back in it right now, so you can jump in and play that game. So go in and do that. Lastly, here we're going to talk about some potential changes to the matchmaking. As we all know, uh, there is a 10 point ranking system difference between from your rank and players you'll be matched up against. So say that you are a level 20 in whatever playlist, you'll, the lowest ranked player you'll, you'll get matched with is a level 10, and the highest ranked player you'll get matched with is a level 30. But they're looking into potentially, you know, increasing that threshold, uh, that 10 point threshold a little bit more uh, to help increase match, uh, decrease matchmaking time so then people get in the games faster. Uh, post here from Postum to Postum said, uh, can you make ranks, the ranks not so tight? I can barely find matches on my 34 in Halo 2 Classic Team Arena. Uh, make it like 15 to 17 levels, maybe something like that. Postum's replies by saying, we can look at potentially loosening up ranking requirements for matchmaking in various playlists. Now, obviously, this is just, you know, we can do this. We can look into it. Nothing confirmed at all, but... You can say if you get to like mid-level like 30s, which I don't think would be too hard to get, and depending what play game mode you're playing, uh, I can see that possibly changing. If it's going to take a long time for you to find find a match. It you know when you're only like level 30-ish, then yeah, it's kind of you're have to kind of loosen up those ranks to kind of you know get people to play. Because yeah, obviously yes, MCC being fixed, it's great. More people are coming back to the game, fantastic. But you gotta understand, the population is not that big. And you definitely want to cater to the core aspect of Halo, which is like your 4v4 Slayer. You want people to be satisfied that way. That's the what most of the people are going to be there to play. It's always the most populated game mode generally for any Halo is Team Slayers, and you want to cater to that audience. Now, me personally, I haven't really gotten that too far into the ranks of MCC because, like I said, I play it very casually. Try to play with the social playlists. Sometimes I go into ranks and stuff like that just to kind of get the little 4v4 classic Slayer experience. But I'm not really playing to rank up and try to do really well. But some players are and they want to respect that uh, gameplay style that they are really enjoying. Because that's, we'll keep those hardcore players, will keep playing your game over and over again no matter what. Though you know what? Game mode would be freaking awesome to come back for matchmaking. How about some classic infection that will bring a lot of people back in infection's always been a super popular game mode and it's you know it's been in halo 5 since may of what 2016 and so people like playing it it's always going to be there and i think there's some classic game modes that people are really missing out on. i need like we need, we need like a solid action sack casual playlist right there everything being team slayer basically because uh, there's so many great like racetracks we have so many great infection maps we have so many great just custom games created with the forge especially in halo 3 that i feel like uh, kind of missing that casual awesome aspect you know and so i would really like to see that implemented for matchmaking for now until they get the custom browser but in the mcc then we can actually a chance to play these classic game modes like fat kid i miss fat kid so much from halo 3 it's so great classic duck hunt as well is amazing 
And even though Halo 5 version is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but some classic Dark Hunt would always be great as well. I think that's one thing that MCC is really, MCC is really missing out on is like custom games aspect and bring it to the masses so more people get a chance to play it. So hopefully get that content browser in as soon as possible to kind of keep the life of this game kind of rolling a little bit more. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video here. So yeah, we have talking about mat game modes possibly being removed, one game swap being removed, Slayer coming in, Halo 2 Hardcore Team Doubles, Halo 3, sorry, Hardcore Team Doubles coming in ready for you guys and you know we have a potential changing of the matchmaking when it comes to uh, loosening up the ranks so people can actually find matches uh, so let me know in the comment section down below guys what you thought about this video uh, I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well uh, if you guys enjoyed this video found it informative and want to see more like it make sure to tap that like button that's it gives me great feedback to know more about what you guys want to see on the channel it also helps kind of spread the news of what's going on right now with the MCC and if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything handle related yeah. Tap the subscribe button with the notification lets you know every time we do anything awesome on the channel, which is gonna be any free time. Let's be real. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.